Um, We're rolling. Just for just for us again. I, uh, saying spell your name and then what? Like production designer. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. Maya Siegel. M a y a s i g e l. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At gmail.com. Okay. <laughs> no, and a uh, production designer. On, for Gun Hill Road. For right? Gun Hill Road. So yes. um, now, uh, not a lot of people know what a production designer even does. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, they design the production. <laughs> what does that mean? Well, it's originally when films were starting to be made, we were called art directors. Okay. Which is a much easier term, I think, for people to grasp. You're directing the art. No, yes. it's still not working. No, no. What is it? What <laughs> do you do? The production designer is the head of the art department, okay. and it's the person that's in charge of the visual look of the film. Okay. And you work with the director and the cinematographer and the costume designer to create a cohesive look for the film, picking colors and textures and locations, and sometimes building sets, sometimes dressing locations. Hmm. Um, it's basically everything you see on the screen. Does that encompass, say, even like the artwork for a poster or font? Yes. I mean, does mm -hmm. the look extend that far? Yeah, you'll you'll I'll hire a graphic designer usually, um, and you know you create signage sometimes, original right. posters, yeah. books, anything. Media kits, yeah, like everything. Everything. So yeah. for everything about the look of the film, you mm -hmm. are responsible for it. Yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm assuming that you must hire a bunch of people to take care of things, or is it mostly you? Usually, I, I would like to hire a bunch of people. It depends on the movie, you know, mm -hmm. if budget. you're, yeah, on the budget of the film. Mm -hmm. um, Gun Hill Road was an independent film. Um, I had two of my key crew members and then a lot of people who just pitched in um, and a lot of help. So when you first sit down with someone to design, e even to be told what the look mm -hmm. is or whatever, who is that? Is that the director? Is it the producer? Yeah, is it the writer? It's the director. Okay. It's the director. So you help them basically get their look. Mm-hmm. And you know, it, it just, it depends on that some directors have a very, very strong visual sense and they know exactly, you know, what they want and you work with them to translate that mm -hmm. and implement it. And, and others, you know, it's the first time maybe working with a designer and it's so it's the the experience varies you're mm. always doing something different and I'm assuming what varies is maybe uh, how much they allow you to have creative control I mean I'm assuming you might have a director that says this is what I want go do it and then maybe some that say what do you think yeah and I actually will use what you think <laughs> right mm. nice. I've, I've been fortunate to work with very collaborative directors mm -hmm. so people who do respect my opinion and and sort of trust me to you know help them mold the look of the film now uh, w in a way why would they trust your opinion in that w a lot of people don't know the names of the production designers they, they, they know the actors they might mm -hmm. even know the writers probably direct director or something but they they might know oh you know the score was written by so-and-so but mm -hmm. they don't know the production designer so what have you worked on before that people might know you from? Well, I think, you know, in the industry, people, uh, directors do pay attention to, mm -hmm. you know, cinem cinematographers and production designers and editors and right. costume designers because that's their, that's their key crew. And those are the relationships that are basically the most important until, I mean, throughout the film. But, um, you know, until the actors come on, it's we're working together. 24 hours a day, yeah, basically. Hours a day. So yeah. if someone wanted to get into production design, would you, first of all, should they? <laughs> and how, how do you become one? Complicated question. Well, production designers come from all different backgrounds. Um, you know, most of them are, art are artistically inclined. Um, a lot of designers come from architecture or theater design. Um, but there's people who were visual artists before, all kinds of things. I personally went to AFI, the American Film Institute Conservatory, hmm. um, to the production design program. So it's an MFA. Yes, it is. So um, uh, Gun Hill Road, should we see it? Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. It's a very powerful story and a really, really interesting film. And it looks great. <laughs> and, uh, it looks great. <laughs> okay. Check out Gun Hill Road and Maya Siegel's work on screen. Um, uh, thank you very much for joining. Thank you so much. Okay. And then we sit here and can, can I just get you to say uh, 
Uh, thank you for being with us because I, I, we just had that little glitch. <coughs> that happen. glitchy thing? Yeah. Sure. Um, three, two, one. And it looks great. Right? Yes. I'll, bet, I'll, I'll bet it does. I, I, hope I so. believe you. <laughs> Check out Gun Hill Road and Maya Siegel's work on screen. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you so much. And then we sit here and look silly. Okay. There you go. We're done. Okay. Perfect. Thanks.